and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Akshita and you are watching Akshita's Recipes. The theme of my channel is to keep it simple, quick, yet delicious. So like all my other recipes, today's recipe too is going to be very simple to make, few ingredients and the end result is going to be really delicious where you're going to want to make it again and again. So let's get started with today's recipe. Traditional Goan Shiro, very very easy and super delicious. So let's go through the ingredients, we have few ingredients. So here I have one cup of semolina, now either you use the fine semolina or the medium semolina. I prefer using the very fine semolina but you can use the medium one too. Now here I have one cup of sugar half a cup of freshly grated coconut, one cup of milk, one cup of water, a few strands of saffron that I've just soaked in about one fourth cup of hot water for about 10 minutes. This you can alternatively use food color, the orange red food color if you don't want to use saffron. This is one teaspoon of cardamom powder, and a pinch of salt and a few raisins just to decorate the lovely shiro. So let's get started with today's delicious recipe. Now first to a pot or a pan I'm going to add the milk and the water as well as the sugar and I'm going to give this a stir And now I'm going to put this on the on the gas stop and we're going to stir this till all of the sugar completely dissolves on a medium heat. So stirring continuously till all of the sugar dissolves. So this took me about two to three minutes and after five minutes uh, you know you will see that all of the sugar has dissolved. So the stirring takes some time and now I'm going to add these saffron strands for the color. So at this point if you're using food color you can add the food color say about just a, a, a quarter teaspoon of food color or a few drops of food color. Now in my pan I'm going to add two teaspoons of ghee or clarified butter. Once it melts I'm going to add the rava or the semolina. And we're going to fry this really well in the ghee for a whole minute. Now this is the most important step of frying the rava in the ghee. And continuously stir it, don't leave it unattended otherwise it will get burned, it will get a very dark brown colour. And the taste of the uh, shiro also will be really uh, different and you know it will have this little burnt taste. So keep an eye on it continuously, stir it for a whole minute. And you will see that the semolina or the rava starts to fluff up and you will get this beautiful aroma of the rava or the, you know frying in this ghee or clarified butter. So this is very important if you want to get the perfect soft melt in the mouth shira or shiro. So don't skip this step. Really fry this very well. Now I'm going to add the cardamom powder as well as the pinch of salt to this and again mix everything really nicely together so that the cardamom gets nicely uh, you know mixed and you get this beautiful aroma of the cardamom as well. Now I'm going to add the grated coconut. Now this is what makes the Goan Shira different. If you see the regular Shira or Suji that you make people don't really add coconut but in the Goan Shira you add this grated coconut. Now you can add a whole cup also if you want a stronger flavor of the coconut but I like to keep it as to half a cup. And now our hot milk mixture has nicely uh, you know, warmed up and come to a boil. So we're just going to add that, but add it a little at a time because it tends to splutter. So please be careful, it's extremely hot. So just pour a little at a time and stir in intervals like this and then pour the entire mixture. So please be careful because the milk does splutter all over the place. So. Uh, and now you're just going to stir everything well together for about half a minute. Also scrape down the sides. And then we're just going to cover and cook this on a 
very low to medium heat for about one whole minute without stirring it at all. Just cover and keep it aside for one minute. Now in that meantime, I'm just going to take a plate and I'm just going to add a few drops of ghee or clarified butter and I'm going to grease the plate uh, with this uh, clarified butter. Now alternatively, you can also use butter. We just want to, you know, grease the plate so that the mixture doesn't stick to the plate and preferably use a glass plate or a steel plate. Now after one minute, all the milk and the water has evaporated. So now all we have to do is just stir this till it starts leaving the sides of the pan. So keep stirring it. And within about a minute or two minutes, you know, it will start all coming together and leaving the sides of the pan. So scrape down the sides as well. My kitchen has this beautiful aroma of shira or shiro. <coughs> so stir it and you will see within about a minute or two everything starts leaving the sides of the pan and all starts coming together like this. Now at this point I am just going to add some few cashew nuts and this is completely optional. You can also fry the cashew nuts in some ghee and then add it. But I just like to add some cashew nuts. It's completely optional. And now our mixture is all ready, our shiro is all ready. All we have to do is just transfer this to the plate that we have greased with the ghee. And now we're going to flatten this as much as we can to a one inch thickness. So using this spatula, just keep on flattening. And while it is warm and hot, it flattens up really well. and it becomes nice and smooth. You can also apply a little bit of ghee to your spatula and then just flatten it so it gets this lovely, uh, you know, glossy effect as well. And you can see that this is the thickness we're looking for. It's just about an inch or so. And now let it rest for about five minutes. Keep it aside for five minutes. And then we're going to cut this into diamond shapes, which is the traditional way of serving this uh, Goan Shiro. So I'm just using a pizza cutter, use a sharp knife if you don't have a pizza cutter and just cut one inch, uh, you know, uh, I mean, cut it into straight lines like this, keeping a one inch gap between two lines. So first cut it uh, like this. It's the casualness that are coming in the way, that's why it's taking some time. Can you literally the crunch of the cashew nut and then you're going to turn your plate the other way around and you're going to cut them this way just keeping your plate on a little bit of a slant and you cut it into squares like this so you get the diamond shape as you'll see later on in the video just keep your plate at a little bit of a slant and then cut it into squares like this and then I'm just going to uh, put the raisins to each of the diamond shape or the squares in the center. And uh, let's serve this in the traditional way that it is. Done. So I'm just using a small steel spatula to pick up each piece. You can also use a knife, you can use a spoon. And there you get the lovely diamond shaped traditional way of serving this. And then you can just put it in one of your lovely serving plates and enjoy this lovely shiro with a hot cup of tea or coffee. So I hope you do try out this recipe guys. Do let me know how you like this. Thank you.
enjoyed watching today's recipe. I hope you're going to give today's recipe a try. Share my recipes with family and friends. Go and visit my channel. I have more than 500 recipes as of today. So go try them out. Share them with family and friends. And let me know also in the comment section below how you like the recipe. Also, don't forget to give this recipe a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up icon that you see below this video. If you haven't joined Akshita's recipes yet, click the subscribe button that you see below this video and become a part of Akshita's recipes. And once you have subscribed, there's a little bell icon that will pop up. Just click it. That way, whenever I put up a new video, a recipe, vlog, or I'm just online uh, waiting to chat with you, you get a message for the same. So friends, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye. Take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be loving and kind to one another. So till I see you in my next video, bye.